Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. And he's back to get the technical backpack. At long last. Long last. Oh boy, here we are, finally. Sometimes you'll see matches, like, right in here. Um, obviously not there right now, but... Just thought I'd point it out. I'm gonna play a little short session here. Um, get that backpack and... Maybe get on over to the... Ooh, the jerry can. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. It is heavy. Oh man. Ketchup chips. Oh boy. Gold, Jerry. Gold, I say. Alright, we're just gonna slog our way through here. I'm gonna take my, um... I don't know about the... I don't know about how things... You know, the, uh, the wetness mechanic. I don't know how that's working anymore. I, I, I don't understand it. I would just avoid getting things wet at all costs. Because then they're gonna get frozen and then you're kinda... Then you could get frostbite. Lots of bad things. Lots of bad things could happen. This is one of those circumstances where you can... You can gain... You can... You can... Your, your meter... This will come in handy. Your your heat meter is going up, and you're still getting cold as you walk through the the icy water. Which that that's that that I can almost feel it. Almost feel how excruciating that must be. <laughs> All right, we're gonna slog our way. Oh no! Oh, oh man! No! No! So cold. So cold. Alright, let's just go through it. Look, we got we got three arrows up, but we're losing our we're losing temp. Alright, let's put those boots back on before I forget. Put your socks on last, obviously. That's the proper way to do it. I always look back here, but there's never anything back here. Well, let's just look. We have to look. No choice but to look. Ugh. Ugh. Gruesome. Gruesome. Let's get those crampons, baby. Boom. I think I can use this. Mackinac. Another Mackinac. And here's the prize. The creme de la creme. This is our only chance to look at it, so it's, let's enjoy the... Let's enjoy it for a moment. Looks pretty cool. A sturdier backpack with all the bells and whistles. You can carry more gear before becoming encumbered. Alright, that's what it's all about, man. What it's all about. Nobody needs this anymore. Nine percent. Oh no. Forty-two. Okay, that might not kill us. All right, let's let's uh let's go ahead and start a fire here. This let's go ahead and do that. Too heavy to carry. We're gonna sort our gear now. It would be awesome to carry the jerry can out of here, but I don't know if that's possible. And it's not going to the summit. So maybe I'll leave it at three-way K. If I can get it down from here, uh, we'll try. We'll try to do it. Let's see. Let's throw a coal on here. All right. I'm going to just start sorting through my gear. Uh, and then maybe we'll get some rest and... Uh, Figure, figure it out from there. All right, so we have to we have to shed um, what? We gotta shed shed nine kilos. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. I want to put the sticks over here. Oop. I got snow. If the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. I really should just. Uh, what did I just drop? Did I drop something else? Let me see. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention, and now I'm like wondering what what the hell happened. Oh, <laughs> I dropped my birch bark. Okay. I didn't want to. Uh, okay, all right. I, I looked away for a second and then I don't know what happened. Okay. Really should make fire hardened arrows though. I don't know if I can do it right now though. All right, we have five kilos of coal. Um, this is all fine. Nothing to do here. Uh, the Mackinac can drop that. That was a decent amount of weight. Lily's pancakes. That's not doing what I thought. Oh, it's the. Okay. Oh, it's the pie. The ptarmigan pie. That's what we need to eat. This right here is just food. Let's just eat it. It's not going to really do much for us. Let's just look at our... Look at that. Oh my god. We're on day 30. I thought it was on day 26 or something. We have 114. So we can get... We could get up to 115. Wow. Nourished. For three hours. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Lily's pancakes. Coming in hot. All right, we got too much of this stuff, I think. I shouldn't have carried all this food down. We can make more pancakes. <laughs> we still have a skillet. Let's do it. Let's make something. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Here it is. We got worried for a second. Make more pancakes. We don't have any... I guess we don't have any... Um, peaches. Or oh, acorn grounds, okay. Well, that takes a lot of weird stuff. We can make more rose hip pies. Let's do that. Here we go. Reduces your fatigue. Those are pretty. Those are pretty damn powerful. I gotta say. Won't hear me complaining about rose hip pie. Um, okay. Well, we have broth too. Let's see if we can do something. I don't. I doubt it. I don't, we don't have any critters on us. Potato. We left our potatoes behind. <laughs> Trout stew, huh? Look at that. You know what we could do is go down to the angler's den and get, uh, hmm, that's something to think about. Go down to the angler's den and, uh, get the fish out of there. Then we can make trout, whatever, whatever it's called. That's an hour. Man, we have a lot of... We have so many. So many of those. Okay, sweet. We can make ban we could make pancakes. No spe it doesn't give me special powers, but um We're just going through our cooking oil, that's all. Let's make some pancakes. I mean we got we got maple syrup on us, why not? Alright. 
Focus shabby. <laughs> Focus. I get too carried away with this stuff sometimes. This jerry can is killing us. It's absolutely killing us. Um, I could break these torches down, but what's the point? They're essentially just sticks at this at this juncture. Uh, yes, yeah, the food. The food's getting us. Now I could do the mac. I can. You know what I'm gonna do is just eat this. I don't know what it will give you, but I'm sure it might be enough to surpass this amount that we have. So I'm tempted to, but I'm also I also have a pot, a skillet. There's a skillet here that needs to be dealt with. So I'm not sure what the um, I'm not sure what the final So we have 43. I bet it's not going to be 5. It's going to probably be like 2 or 3 that's going to add give us a bonus. So I'm going to maybe I'll probably end up dropping some um uh, coal. Let's just put some coal in here. We're gonna get some more coal in a bit. I'll sleep for, uh... Actually, let's just get some rest and then we'll just keep moving. It's almost sundown. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna hang out in the cave, make some teas. Probably need more water for that, so let's make some water. While I prep teas. And then, uh, and then we'll sleep. We'll just sleep here tonight. That's the plan. It's not very exciting, but that's the plan. Let's just do this for an hour. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Just making some teas, that's all. And then let's put this, uh made a soup right here there we go we'll let that cook as well I kind of like the rose hip uh, whatever they're called pies so maybe we should just leave a few you know unprepared ones for pie purposes the double P factor Yeah, somehow we got out. Oh, yeah, it's still multiple of eight. Okay, okay. Got worried there for a second. Drink some of these teas real quick. Can't believe how many of these I've, I've picked. It's crazy. There's still so many more out there. Birch bark. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more rose hip. Pink. 
pancakes. <laughs> yeah. It's funny to it's just funny to see that as an option. Oh, I can make pancakes. Oh, okay, that's nice. It's a welcome sight, I have to say. A welcome sight. Okay, I think we're good on stuff. This is just reducing weight here. I'm not going to make any birch bark tea. Really should make fire hardened arrows, but... No, I can't add... I don't want to add any more weight to what we have here. It's just nightfall. Um, we don't have any sticks. Okay. It's five sticks per. I'm sure, I can carry much more. That's it, huh? Okay. I wonder. I want to see if you get. Um, do you get archery skills from this? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. We must have a, uh, there must be an aurora because this fire is glowing. This will reduce some weight too if we put these on. Wow, maybe just get rid of the ear wraps. Maybe we've uh, gone past ear wrap phase, I don't know. Got a decent amount of food here. That's excellent. Okay. All right, I think it's sleepy time. We don't have very many torches. Maybe we can pull out some good torches. Let's see. Better than that. We need something better than that. That's not bad. We can do better, though, I think. Maybe we can't. I don't know. Oh, definitely not. Oh, get that out of here. Throw it that way. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to do one last thing before we sleep, which is sharpen my knife before I forget to do this. And my hatchet, actually. I'm just not sure if I want to get the... Maybe maybe we could sacrifice the lantern. I'm getting tired. You know what? I bet we can get this stuff out of here. I bet we can get... I bet with our buffs we can get everything out of here. Okay, one more time. One more time. Yeah, take care of your tools, folks. Take care of your tools. I promise you're not going to run out of wet stones. I promise. Show me someone who's ran out of wet stones, and I'll show you someone that knows the game way better than me. <laughs> That's all I would say. They don't need my advice. Okay. Um, let's drink some teas down. Okay. We've sharpened our... Wait, have we sharpened our axe? Let's see. No, we haven't. Let's sharpen our axe. We'll sleep for seven hours. We'll eat some rosehip pies. We 
should be good to go. Weather permitting, as always. Goes without saying, though, doesn't it? Okay. Alright, seven hours. What's our weight? We're at 41.33. Okay. Now I'm debating on whether I want to keep this lantern or not because I have confess. I'm a confessed. Uh, I don't really use my lantern <laughs> like other people do. I really kind of just. I don't carry it around with me. I just, you know, full disclosure. Full disclosure. Shabby's. Not a big fan of the lantern. Um, so I don't know if I want to put all my fuel in it or not. I still think that this buff that we're going to get is going to be enough to uh, get us get us down the ropes. Sounds like the weather's nice though, so Now the big question is, is there a moose down here at the bottom or not? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Nope. Oh. Okay. Well, let's just wait for a second. The crows are out, which makes me feel like this is transitioning. Oh, yeah, I have it turned off. I, I turned I had it turned off from way way back in the day when I was raiding before and that's okay that's fine um I'm only you know I'm only playing in like small I, I think I need to turn it off I really do uh, but this on this particular occasion I'm probably only gonna go another 20 minutes or something Oh yeah, Bob. Oh man. I saw him was on and I was like, I bet he's going to, I was thinking cause I was the only other person that was playing. Um, but that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to turn that off. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. I wouldn't mind having some people to hang out with for at least for a little bit. As long as they understand that I'm not like, uh, I'm not going to go for a couple hours or anything like that. Um, Okay, well you caught me at an opportune moment because I'm, I'm kind of hanging here for just a sec. But it looks like the weather's changing on us. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh yeah, Weevil's cool too. Absolutely, I I'm I follow, I follow, uh, am I Weevil? Is that what it is? Something like that. Or call me Weevil. Call me Weevil? Is that it? Either way. Okay, so here we go. Let's eat our, uh, crude man these things these things decay very quickly i hope this doesn't give me food poison because that really could really screw things up for me no nope, just a headache just a headache yeah see lady q that was super cool of you um uh, it's great to see you again i'm 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 enjoying streaming again i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know how long i'm gonna do this for but uh i'm enjoying it for right now so Alright, we're gonna leave that. Alright, so we have to figure this thing out right now. So, we can either drop weight or we can. We can eat this pie, which I think that's what we're gonna do. I just wanna make sure before I do anything.
I mean, we're almost there, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat the pie anyways, because I'm curious to see what it does. Okay, ptarmigan pie. Here we go. Again, if we get food poisoning, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Unburdened. Look at that, that's a new, that's a new buff I've never seen before. For three hours. What do you, you get a plus three buff to uh to your carrying capacity that is amazing that is amazing i will take it gladly three kilo buff got to remember that that's a powerful that's a powerful piece of food right there i need to find some place to escape this cold Honestly, I just I I'm I absolutely love the I know there's certain things like bread, you know, acorn bread. There's certain things that's like, okay, so what's the big deal? But there I mean, if you some of these buffs are awesome and you and you can use them, you know, in your situation. And again, I think generally speaking, your your um your 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 stews, the stuff you cook in the pots, these are for like going to bed and healing. This is sort of healing type stuff. And and your skillet is for like morning, it's for energy, it's for it's starting the day off right. You know, hit the ground running. That kind of stuff. That's just generally speaking. And um so cold. And and they, they seem to be divided between um broth and oil so oil is for skillets broth is for pots you people might already know this i'm just pro i process things out loud so this is me processing Parmigan pie is strong, very strong, I would say. I mean, rose hip pie and ptarmigan pie. Those are there's a there's another one that also re reduces your um, your fatigue, and I can't remember what it is. Wait a minute, I forgot to look. Actually, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hang on, let's look. Uh, wait, up, uh, up, uh, get up. Shoot. Okay, there we go. I just want to see if there's a moose down there. Oh, there is. It was right in front. I was looking beyond it. Okay, so we have a moose. Um, okay, uh, that changes things a little diff a little bit. Uh, shoot, let's make a fire. I gotta make a fire. I gotta warm up. I, I need to think for a second. I gotta think for a second. This is getting this is getting interesting. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this rose hip pie. Kind of wish I had the meds. Uh, because I know the teas won't help you, but maybe, maybe the meds would, the painkillers. So that's something to test as well. You know what I like to do in a situation like this? I like to throw down my skillet, put a little oil in the pan, and I like to make pancakes. That's what I like to do. I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about you all. This is just how Shabby does it. Just before a moose hunt, Shabby always likes to make a, a little bit of pancakes from scratch. Just like Grandma used to make. Oh my. My, my, my.
Pancakes, just like you just whip them up quick. <laughs> Classic pancakes, hot and hard. I don't know why the bl the the plate and the and the maple syrup just made me laugh. It just that's I love it. Uh, okay, we gotta sh we gotta shoot this moose, y'all. Maybe I should shoot it from up here. Can I do that? I think I can hit it from up here. Alright, right by that tree. That's where we're going to shoot. Okay, here we go. Oh, it was a little short. That might have scared him. It didn't, though. Oh, it did. It did. It's right by that tree, though. Now we know. Where's he going? Is he stuck? I'm so scared to shoot. This is the tarot. This is a very difficult moose to hunt, because... Um, well, especially without a flare gun. Let me just say. Gotta warm up somehow. Okay, shoot. Alright, we gotta get over here. Oh my goodness. I done, I done just, I just uh, kicked the horn, hornet's nest, didn't I? He's still running. I didn't even hit him. <laughs> didn't even hit him. Give me a break, man. Let's calm down. Jeez. I'm definitely not going down there until he stops running around. He sounds like he's... No, no, he sounds like he's still running. Yep, he's still running. What a freak. It was just one little arrow that just landed next to his feet. All right, I'm afraid to, to hang out here too long because I'm going to... Let me see if I still got my buff. All right, we still got half, half of it left. He's still running. What the hell? I think he's glitched because that's that is weird behavior. That is not typical moose behavior. I am really concerned about this uh, this hunt, though. I have to tell you. All right, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. You got everything to get my pots. Okay. Okay, we got everything. Let's do it. Okay, still running. What the hell? Okay, no, he's still running. That is one scare. That's one skittish moose if I ever saw one. If I ever saw one. We could be totally screwed right now. I don't know. I can still get on the rope. Let me see. Okay, see he's been up here. <laughs> Uh. There he is. He's down there in that hole. Holy smokes. Is there a corpse? He's already killed somebody. This moose is already killed. And he will kill again. Can't, oh yeah, I'm crouched. Ugh. Well, you can obviously make it back out of here, right? So I'm not going to get stuck down in there. Oh my god. This is the worst possible place for the moose to... 
<laughs> but of course he's going to end up down there, right? Maybe we should just set up a little camp over here at the at the cave. I just don't want the moose to despawn on us, though. That's no good. Hmm. Here's our arrow. That scared the bejesus out of him. Alright, I think, um... I think because of the time situation... I'm just... I'm just... Yeah, I know. I know. I, I do know. I think about that a lot, actually. I'm, I'm definitely one to not kill... To not kill things or to not... Um, not harvest a carcass. I, I, I that is good advice. I, I, let me, I'm just trying to say, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. That, that is good advice. Um, I really want to get the moose satchel though. And this is the first moose I've seen. And, uh, we do have a spawn right next to the mountaineer's hut. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. Hey, Blades. What's up? What's up? I'm uh, contemplating if I should shoot this moose or not right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But I just don't want to have to... Uh, if I kill it down here, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get all of everything out of this hole that he's in right now. Um... But I'm, I guess there's, this is just all I got right now. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid the windows are going to close on the weather. So I think we should do it. Now the hard part, here's the hard part. Here's the tricky part is hitting it. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's see. Well, now I have to now I have other things to worry about here. Let's see, how do I get down? Oh my goodness. One shot. That's crazy. Okay, well I'm gonna try to get this stuff up to the cave if I can. We definitely want to get the hide, number one. So let's just do that right now. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and get. I'm not. I'm not gonna cook it here. I think that's probably a bad idea. I just want to get it over to the cave, and we'll just do it as fast as we can. This is by far the most valuable thing that we're trying to get right here. So let me just run this back. We'll we'll dump our gear, dump our weight, and then we'll just come back here and try to get what we can off of it. Wow, what a surprise. That was not, I was not uh, planning on that at all. Again, don't, it's really, you know, you should make plans. You should always have a plan, but you know, you have to be flexible. You really do. Cause you just don't know what kind of circumstance is gonna you know, it could be an opportunity, or it could be something, you know, like a blizzard, or anything. And you have to sort of just roll with it. And then, and then there goes your plans. Your plans are out the window, and you're, you're on a new plan now. So, I guess we're now, we're, um, sorry, I keep hitting my, my mouse. Um, I guess now we're on a new, a new plan for the next, uh, bit here. I was trying to I was trying to make my way to the to the summit, but we got a little delay here. This is goddamn freezing. Now look, you see this precipitation we got here? I'm gonna look at my clothes. I I was standing next to a fire last night. Okay, we're just now starting to get wet. And it seems like the Well, it's always okay, so it's these three. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I was next to a fire cooking the bear. 
at Miner's Folly and it started snowing and my, my clothes were just getting wet. Like they were 50% wet. And I was standing next to like three or four fires. So I took them off and they were fine, but it's, uh, that's, that's a new thing. And I don't know if it's, a maybe blades knows, but if you, if you're still on here, um, if that's a bug or not, it feels like a bug because it wasn't in the patch notes at all. Okay, this is some cool. I like this music. It's cool. Yeah, it's yeah, it's annoying. I'm I am like taking you know, I do like, I am aware of it, so every time it's snowing, I'm looking at my clothes and just making sure. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just get what I can from the moose and uh, just bring it up here and cook it. Because we're not having a holiday here in uh, Stone Shelf Cave. We're going to just keep on keeping on. I'm going to eat some... Uh, Rose hip pie, get some uh get some of my energy back. That'll help us carry this stuff. Uh let's see where are we at? Okay, so let's have another pie. <laughs> uh I can eat one of these ptarmigan pies too. These are these this combo right here, the rose hip and ptarmigan pies, that is solid. That's a solid combo. Cause you can carry three kilos more. Um, with that, um, with that, uh, ptarmigan pie buff, it's pretty solid. All right. I'm just going to try to carry as much as I can. I don't want to drop clothes. Let's put the sticks in a different pile. That's one of Shabby's rules. I always put sticks in a different pile. Because that you'll you'll have to pick up every stick before you get to the stuff that you actually want in that pile. So that's a little that's a little about advice. Ooh. Oh, I also saw another bug last night, which you know I'm sure you guys know about. But um, um the uh, the. Uh, bear the bear meat i guess this must be anything like this actually i don't know i don't know all the like what's actually bugged and what's not but i had a one kilo piece of bear meat but i was and because i was going to cook that for, to eat but then i was also everything else was like a half kilo piece and then when I dropped it on the ground, it all turned into one kilo. Everything was one kilo piece. All all of the the half kilo pieces turned into to a whole kilo. So, um, but I think that that was sort of related to the broth or something. I don't know. Wasn't that was what was going on with the broth? Was people? I don't know. I don't know that whole scenario either. Actually. I just play the game and try to figure it out. Jesus I try not cold. to die. That's, that's what, I just try not to die. Okay. So when you cook it up, it goes up to... When you cook it, it goes to one kilo. Okay. Even though, you know, it still takes like... Th like if you cook a, a half kilo piece, it takes basically 30 minutes. Um, whereas a whole kilo would take an hour. So even if it's cooking for 30 minutes, you pull it off, drop it on the ground, it's a one kilo piece. Something like that. Okay, looks like we're going to have to start a fire. I didn't really want to do that, but and I'm talking too much and not really paying attention to the to the temperatures here. I don't know. I don't even know if you can get a fire down here, actually. Let's put one down here. I'll warm up. And then we'll pull a few, we'll pull a few kilos off. What the hell? Here we go. We'll pull a few off and, uh, you know, get us get us some nice food for the next couple of days. Come on, little fire. Yeah, I don't like being cheesy. I don't like being cheesy. 
That's why I'm not doing the... That's why I don't like doing the micro-harvesting. I like to... I dropped all my coal. I'm an idiot. But we can get some... We can get some teas. We have teas here, so... We're not a total idiot. I don't like... I, like, I don't like micro-harvesting at, at all. But I don't... You know, I, I always say I don't judge people for doing it. I just don't... I'm not comfortable with it because... Mainly because it just makes the run too easy. Like, you get cooking five and everything's just like... You're just done. And I like to sort of slowly progress and enjoy the uh, enjoy the, the journey to cooking five. Okay, I got you. I got you. You could really, yeah, you could like really exploit it. I got you. You're pointing that out, that you could really exploit that bug to a huge degree. Okay. All right, so we'll just harvest this as long as we can, and then... That's probably more than enough. We'll just see where we end up. Okay. All right, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Okay, this is way more than I need. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I've seen people micro-harvest. I know this isn't related, but just sort of a same kind of exploitation of a rabbit is like you can micro harvest a rabbit and get a good ways towards cooking five just from a rabbit maybe that's maybe that's overdoing but like let's just say a handful of rabbits you could get cooking five Okay, so we're going to cook this moose up. Uh, let's see what time is it. Uh, still, I think we can make it to the bunker. I want to get over to the bunker before we go to sleep. So let's try to do that. We got five kilos extra on us now though that's gonna make uh, getting up to the summit a little interesting I think probably what I'll have to do is take this hide to three-way cave and we'll just leave it at three-way cave and then have to come back for it after the summit or I can just leave the jerry can actually that might be smarter I wonder if I can drop any of this here because I really want the moose hide the jerry can can wait. All right, let's uh, let's cook up some of this meat and then we'll go. Yeah, here we go. That's how we do it. Oh my God! Really? You found a flare shell? One? Did you find just one flare shell? Yeah, me too. Me too. I do wonder um, how how you wouldn't notice some of this stuff that happens. Absolutely. Uh, Mystery Lake? Where? Where in Mystery Lake? Up at the uh, was it up at the like the abandoned the broken tower or whatever it's called the lookout broken the abandoned lookout. That, that would be my guess. Wait a second. There's a plane crash in Mystery Lake? I didn't know that. 
I didn't know that. I knew about the one in Coastal Highway and Hush River. I didn't know there was one in Mystery Lake. Oh, interesting. Don't tell me where it is. I'm, I'm going to look for it. I have some ideas of where it would be, though. Probably, don't tell me, but my guess is like over somewhere around Clear Cut, over up, over up in there somewhere. But I'm going to have fun looking for that. Don't tell me. That's pretty sweet. That's, that's, I love that. I love it. Oh, we got a lot of meat here. And a tarmi. Wait. Oh, because it stinks. Interesting. Man, this. It's at 22%. Shoot. Is it going to give me food poisoning? Dang it. So there must be another, so, hmm, I don't know if I should ask, but, okay, I know about the one in Coastal Highway, I know about the one in Hush River, now I know about the one in Mystery Lake, does that mean that there's another one? Is there another one? Oh my god, whoa, you just blew my mind, man. Somehow I haven't been spoiled after all this time, so that's cool. Uh, I'll have to look for that. wonder where to be. Oh. Mystery. A new mystery. I love it. I wish I could save this ptarmigan pie for the climb up, but I don't... I don't want it to give me food poisoning, so... Um... I'm going to go ahead and eat it right now. If it gives us food poisoning, we're going to have to just deal with it, but... Okay. I would imagine on the fringe... Oh, you use the transponder to find... That's why I, that's why I never found them, is because... I just did the bunkers and then I stopped. I'm going to move all this moot... Well, it probably doesn't matter to move it outside, but... Um, I don't know if something crazy happens and we have to come back here I forget something probably not but I'm just going to eat this moose meat and keep going don't forget your hide shabby probably would have done that I'm sure <laughs> let's see what we got here okay we have a buff right now for three hours um uh, so we can carry all this for a bit, but it's not going to last. I think we can get most of this stuff to three-way cave, though. It might be a little bit of a slog, but it won't be that bad. Okay. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Got five torches. That'll be enough. We'll be just fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm just paranoid. Okay, we gotta have it. Okay, then a bedroll and pot check. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I'm probably gonna, what I'm gonna do here, um, y'all, is I'm gonna, first I'm gonna pick up a bunch of birch bark. That's the number one. But then next is, we're going to the bunker, and I'm gonna stop there for the night. And uh, obviously we're going to look and see if there's a uh, recipe in there. I, um, I have searched, let's see, I've searched Timberwolf Mountain, uh, well, Mystery Lake, Timberwolf Mountain, Pleasant Valley. So those three so far, this will be number four, except... I did search Mystery Lake before this latest patch, so I don't know. I might have to end up going back there and checking it again, but I'll check that after I've checked everything else. But I really hope that that wasn't a bug, a bugged situation. It 
Okay, we can't you can't miss the the birch bark extravaganza that we're about to enter into. You don't want to skip that. Oh. And if you really want to go crazy, there's a whole area up there of of birch another birch forest up there. But we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying you can get a lot of birch bark around here. I've done most of the world and only have three recipes. It could be a bug for me too, or I just missed them. Oh man. I hope not. I did find, um, actually somebody had to help me find Lily's Pancakes recipe. I would have totally missed it. Um, I mean it was in Grey Mothers, it was just well hidden. Sorry, I guess I, I, guess I spoiled that where the location is. <laughs> that's true. I, that's how I think of it too, is like, well I'll just go back. I'll just, it'll give me an excuse to go back to somewhere. Look at these giant pieces of birch bark. Massive. Oh my. Whoa, overwhelming. Oh. But yeah, I like that. I like going, I like having a reason to go back to, to places. And it gives you a reason to leave things behind, which I, I always like to do, you know, you know, you treat your future self well, you know. It's always a good thing. So yeah, if you go up this little path right here, not only is there a, uh, not only is there a uh, Polaroid spawn up there, but there's also lots of birch bark. It's a good spot. I have Lily's pancakes, Thompson's family stew, and then okay, and another one. Okay, yeah, I have. Li li okay, so you got the gray mother one, gray mothers recipe and then the one in the uh, community center which I haven't got yet on this run but I got it on a different unlike my custom run so that the recipes were working on the on the custom run it just wasn't the ptarmigans weren't working that's that was the drawback on that I actually I I spawned uh, I spawned in uh, in Hush River Valley, and um, I won't spoil the location for that recipe. But I th I'm pretty sure it's on a on a corpse, and it moves around. It's in different spots, and I just happen to uh, I just ha I just don't I don't want to give you any spoilers. But I I happened upon a corpse. Um, kind of by accident and found it wasn't even expecting I wasn't even looking for it I just it just was there and yeah ranger stew oh yeah you get that at the um, that's the one you get up at the foreman's retreat how many total are there seven I know there's like a coastal highway there's like a fish takes one or something like that seven okay okay so we have to go up to climbers cave to get over to the bunker so we need to go up this way kinda Guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Astrid, it was it was actually uh, it was tea. They said tea, and you you misunderstood. I'm sorry. No one was drinking their pee. I'm sorry to break the news. Don't think we have any liquids on us. Let me see here. We got pancakes though. That's something. Let's drink a little bit. We don't really need to do this that much, but... 
think we'll be just fine. Yeah, there's a coastal highway one. Let me see if I can count them. Wait, there's two. No, no, there's one in, in Pleasant Valley. There's one in Mystery... Um, no, sorry. One in Pleasant Valley, one in Mountain Town. One in HRV. One in Ash Canyon. One in Coastal Highway. There's one in Forsaken Airfield. That's six. And then there's one in the bunkers. That's seven. Hey, look at this. This is new. I haven't seen this here for a while. I always think it's funny that there's, uh, there's always birch bark over here, but there's no birch trees, but there's always one or two pieces. I haven't seen them this big though. Usually they're not the big fat ones like this. Whoa, that's monstrous. That's a chonker. Okay, so there's a corpse. Uh, when you, when there's crows up here, there's a corpse underneath this log. Probably nothing on it, but never hurts. See if there's any feathers anywhere. I'm not seeing any. Mushroom. Okay, no feathers. Probably feathers, I just didn't see them. Okay, let's check this thing out. I have found a plaid shirt in here, so let's keep our fingers crossed. You never know. This stuff will come in <laughs> handy. Uh, I think I'll leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. Man, I could use a drink. And this weather, the weather in Ash Canyon has been amazing. For days, four days, it's been like this. Feels like night oh, I just heard some ptarmigans, but I can't deal with ptarmigans right now. Cannot deal with them. Accelerant, ketchup chips, 90% ketchup chips. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Um. All right, let's keep going. Keep on keeping on. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Now, I'm going to learn I'm going to I'm going to employ something I learned from from uh, blades. If you drop it from your inventory, it doesn't scare him. Okay, okay. I never do that. I'll learn that from you, man. Oh, he moved. Dang it. It's like he sensed me aiming at it. All right, come on now, stop moving. And let me shoot you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, shoot. Couldn't quite get a bead on it. There we go. Oh yeah. It's a slaughter. Oh, <laughs> okay, that one's running. That one's making a run for it. Okay, here we go. Save yourself, buddy. All 
All right, our torch is out, so that's okay. Now it's just gonna be a slog. Gonna be a slog now. Still got, we got, still got some sprint. Hope I can make this jump. No, we're good. We're good. Just kidding. Now is our towel gonna be? Is Tally over here? There's Tally. Tally's still hanging out. We love Tally. You're almost there, Astrid. Just hang in there. Oh, we lost unburdened. Oh boy. Now it's gonna. Now we're dragging. Now we're dragging our feet. I'm not gonna be able to carry but this. But luckily, we're longer. almost to the bunker. It's right around the corner here. We got a moose. I'm so happy we got a moose. Uh, Cause that's the last piece of the puzzle right there. I know Blades was, I don't know if he's still on here or not, but Blades was telling me at one point that uh, I think he was basically on day 100 before he got the satchel. <laughs> Which is, that's a long time. I'm on day, I'm on like day, I'm not even on day 30 yet. Which I'd say is probably my average it's it's a good um, it's definitely a good point to be at, at on day at day 30 for sure day 70 you got your moose on day 70 oh man yeah that's a long time Ugh, my tongue feels like sandpaper all right obviously first order of business Next session will be make some water, cook up some ptarmigans. Pluck some feathers. Oh, okay, I got you. So it was like you got the moose, but then you were busy doing other adventures and then and then the, the satchel was finally crafted. That would really teach you to be kind of disciplined about your inventory, I would imagine. Because once you get that 15, you know, you, your two items and then you're well fed, it's uh, it's hard to go back. It's hard to go back to, to less carrying capacity. Yeah. Um... And it's not, yeah, it's not easy to get from one place to the next. All right, so we're going to look in here. It says abandoned cache, and I don't know if that means it really is abandoned. Oh, look, we spawned at the other side of the um, the room here. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to stop here. And um, I don't know, we'll pick it up later, uh, tomorrow sometime. Um... Should we raid somebody? I'm not, I haven't, I literally have not raided anyone yet. So a little help would be appreciated. Um, I mean, I know how to do it. I just don't know who. Oop. Actually, just give me a sec. One second.
Okay, sorry about that. I had a little distraction. <laughs> Something just popped up at the same time. Okay. All right, looks like, uh, how about this Slid Holmes? Is my gaming rig. Slid Holmes, uh, let's raid him. Or, or that person. I don't know if it's him or her. I don't know any more about any of this stuff because, uh, literally, uh, I've been switching back and forth between, um, between Will and Astrid this entire run. And I started off as Will and right now I'm Astrid. So, is it Slid Home? Hang on. Homes. Slid Homes. Here we go. Okay, there we go. All right, everyone take it shabby. Thanks for hanging with me, y'all. It's cool. See you next time.